Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. General Hospital Friday, July 12th Spoilers Sasha spills secret to Cody Jason's grand gesture Anna's solo mission General Hospital EH Spoilers for Friday, July 12th Reveal that Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, and Felicia Scorpios, Christina Wagner, plot will backfire now that they've tricked Cody Bell, Josh Kelly, and Max Scorpio, John G. York, into seeing each other. This plan doesn't make sense considering Felicia just got through telling Cody to give Max some time. Now Felicia and Maxie are pressuring Mac to bond with Cody when he's not ready so they shouldn't be surprised when this scheme ends in disaster. Mac will apparently reject Cody all over again, and neither one of them will respond well to Maxie and Felicia's deception. Once Cody leaves, Mac will angrily push Felicia and Maxie to tell him what the point of that humiliating exercise was. At the Quartermain stables, Cody will realize Sasha Gilmore Corbin, Sophia Matson has something besides all this paternity drama on her mind. It looks like Cody will push Sasha to open up, but she'll swear into secrecy first. Once Cody promises to never tell anyone what he's about to hear, Sasha will apparently admit she caught Willow Corinthos, Caitlin McMullen, and Drew Quartermain, Cameron Matheson, kissing during the fireworks show. Sasha might also spill that Nina Reeves, Cynthia Watros, has her own romantic entanglement with Drew going on, so Cody will realize this is a mess, especially since Willow is married to Michael Corinthos, Chad Duell, who is Drew's nephew. Next, Trina Robinson, Tabiana Ali, will show up on Laura Collins, Jeannie Francis, Doorstep, and will claim to have an important reason why. During this visit, Laura will ask for Trina's point of view, so she may wonder how Trina feels about the whole Heather Weber, Allie Mills situation. Other GF spoilers say Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, will warn Curtis Ashford, Donald Turner, that the worst is yet to come if Heather is allowed back on the streets. But Curtis will do his best to settle her down. Heather told Laura that she needed to stay locked up, but Laura doesn't seem convinced that's true justice now that there's new evidence that could get Heather off the hook. Over with Elizabeth Baldwin, Rebecca Herbst, she'll have some wonderful news to share with Jason Morgan, Steve Ferdin. Liz will give Jason updates on positive Jake Weber, Hudson West, developments, so Jason will be happy to hear good things about their son. Jason will also make Elizabeth an offer and push her to just let him do this for Jake. If Liz's news involves Jake's college plans, Jason might urge her to let him take care of all the expenses. Friday's episode will also bring a strategy session for Jason and Anna Devon, Finola Hughes, who'll fill Jason in on her plan for stealing Valentin Cassidine's. James Patrick Stewart, satellite phone from his house. Anna will insist on going in alone this time and may warn Jason not to put the operation at risk by monitoring things nearby again. Will Jason listen or can his instincts eventually tell him that Anna's going to need backup? Our predictions point to an unsettling outcome for Anna no matter how all this plays out. General Hospital spoilers say Anna will take the next step and try to get her hands on that satellite phone but Valentin can discover the theft in progress or even lure her into a trap. The sun cast a warm glow over Port Charles as Friday, July 12th, unfolded with a series of gripping events destined to reshape the lives of its residents. In the bustling General Hospital, secrets were about to be spilled, grand gestures made, and solo missions embarked upon. Sasha Gilmore sat in a quiet corner of Kelly's, her hands wrapped around a steaming cup of coffee. Her eyes darted around nervously, as if expecting someone to recognize the weight of the secret she carried. Cody Bell, ever perceptive, noticed her anxious demeanor as he walked in. His usual confident stride slowed as he approached her table. Hey Sasha, mind if I join you? 
Cody asked, his tone gentle but curious. Sasha looked up, her eyes reflecting a mixture of relief and trepidation. Sure, Cody. I could use some company. Cody slid into the chair across from her, his keen eyes never leaving her face. You seem like you've got a lot on your mind. Anything you want to talk about? Sasha hesitated, biting her lower lip. The secret she had been holding onto was eating her alive, and she knew she couldn't keep it bottled up any longer. Taking a deep breath, she leaned in closer, lowering her voice to a whisper. I can't keep this to myself anymore, Cody. It's about Nina and Valentin. I overheard something, something that could change everything. Cody's eyebrows shot up in surprise. What did you hear, Sasha? Nina isn't Valentin's biological daughter, Sasha confessed, her voice trembling. I overheard Liesel talking to Valentin about it. They've been keeping it a secret, but now that I know, I don't know what to do. Cody reached out, placing a reassuring hand on hers. We'll figure this out together, Sasha. We'll do what's right. Meanwhile, across town, Jason Morgan was preparing for a grand gesture that he hoped would bring a smile to Sam McCall's face. The past few months had been tumultuous, filled with danger and uncertainty. He wanted to remind Sam of their unbreakable bond and the love they shared. At the penthouse, Sam was busy with Danny and Scout when the doorbell rang. She opened the door to find Jason standing there, holding a bouquet of roses and wearing a rare, warm smile. Jason, what's all this? Sam asked, surprised and touched by the unexpected gesture. Jason stepped inside, handing her the flowers. I wanted to do something special for you, Sam. I know things have been tough lately, and I just wanted to remind you how much I love you. Sam's eyes welled up with tears as she accepted the flowers. Jason, you didn't have to do this. Just having you by my side is enough. Jason pulled her into a tight embrace. You deserve the world, Sam. And I'm going to make sure you get it. As they shared a tender moment, the phone rang. Sam answered, her expression shifting to one of concern as she listened to the voice on the other end. Jason, it's Anna. She's on a solo mission, and she needs our help. Jason's protective instincts kicked in immediately. What's going on? She's tracking down a lead on the Dove SV's most wanted list. She thinks she's close, but she's in over her head. We need to find her before it's too late. Jason nodded, determination etched on his face. Let's go. Anna Devon, ever the intrepid spy, was deep into her mission, tracking a dangerous fugitive with ties to an international crime syndicate. Her investigation had led her to a remote warehouse on the outskirts of Port Charles. On and without backup, Anna relied on her years of experience and shark instincts to navigate the treacherous terrain. As she crept through the dimly lit warehouse, her senses were on high alert. The sound of footsteps echoed through the empty corridors, sending chills down her spine. She knew she was getting closer, but the danger was palpable. Suddenly, a shadowy figure emerged from the darkness, blocking her path. Anna's heart raced as she reached for her gun, ready to defend herself. The figure stepped into the light, revealing a familiar face. Robert, Anna gasped, lowering her weapon slightly. Robert Scorpio, her longtime ally and friend, gave her a grim smile. You didn't think I'd let you handle this alone, did you? Anna's relief was palpable. What are you doing here? I got wind of your mission and knew you'd need backup, Robert explained. This fugitive is dangerous, Anna. We need to be careful. Anna nodded grateful for his presence. Together, they pressed on, their partnership a testament to their shared history and unyielding determination. Back at General Hospital, Sasha and Cody's conversation took a more serious turn as they contemplated the ramifications of the secret she had revealed. If Nina finds out the truth, it could destroy her, Sasha said, her voice filled with anguish. 
Cody squeezed her hand reassuringly. We'll figure out the best way to handle this, Sasha. But you did the right thing by telling me. We'll protect Nina and make sure Valentin.